what's on of the lightning cat. And today you're gonna get this instead of a, a wake up vlog because why the fuck not? Joining me is mom. Say hello, mom. Hello, mom. Thank you. You're adorable. <laughs> I'm trying to stay okay with you. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> we're we're both gonna do a little bit of something here, and you'll just see what it is when you see what it is. What you want? Um. At uh, the bacon That's smokehouse single. Uh, yes, ma'am. Do you want the meal? Yeah. Bacon smokehouse single meal. What do you drink? Uh, Dr. Pepper, no ice. With Dr. Pepper, no ice. And can I get a kid's meal with chicken nuggets and apples and chocolate milk? <laughs> Any sauce for the nuggets? No, ma'am. Anything else for you? You want anything else? Um, yeah, a barbecue sauce. Can we have two extra barbecue sauces, please? Just a minute, what's your camera out? No, ma'am, thank you. Thank you. Twelve dollars and eight cents. Yeah, I'm gonna pay you a bit. Hang on, everybody. Dang. Can I talk to it? You're gonna pay for it. Yeah. I've got enough to cover it. Yeah, but you know. Or at least my half of it. Okay. Give me eight cents. Eight cents. Yeah, I got eight cents. Whoa! And it just jumped away. Okay, that, put that right there. I'm dropping it all over the place. That makes sense. Five. Two nickels? Yeah, two nickels, ten. Oh, there we go. Still going. Just give me a minute. Yeah, we're gonna do a, a McDonald's food review, and I'm gonna drag it out so that I get more than ten minutes worth of runtime. Thirty-eight. Thank you. Thirty-eight. I gave you fifty. Oh. Yeah. See. You had a bloody fifty. Yeah. Thank you. I've got a bloody fifty. 50 cents. <laughs> That's all I had on me. Seriously. <clears throat> um, I would love to like just this mount this yours. thing right here. No eyes. This is mine and it's chocolate. This is mine. I don't know what she did with your meal. She ate your meal. You, you got a, a kid's meal. Yeah. With, with the chocolate milk. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Why, you want to take my chocolate milk home and drink it later? No, I don't want your chocolate milk. You're weird. I'm not weird. It's healthy. And I'm not going to, you know, I don't eat all those big meals anymore. I eat little tiny meals all day long. But a kid's meal? It's a little tiny meal. That's all I want. That's all I need. A kid's meal? Yeah, a kid's meal. Actually, I get it for the toy. And the cute little box. With the race cars. Ain't it cute? Weird Al, eat your weird heart out. It says pull here to take a, <laughs> the ramp challenge. <laughs> so you can take your little car out of here and pull this down and whee into the box. Cruise your way through the clouds. Well, she's taking it a little bit. Let's see what toy she gave me. You know, nobody's going to watch this because it's a feed review. Get there. Everybody's going to watch this because you're doing weird shit. See my little car. Yeah, you got a little car now. I'm happy. I got a little car. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, I'm on the curb. <laughs> right, we're. I'm, I'm gonna review this when we get to my my place, and I would ask that you do the same. But if you want to eat now, you go ahead and eat now. Just remember to use all those big scientific words such as. Uh, Redundant flavoring and then the uh, 
monosodium glutamate. I don't use big words. <laughs> Want fries? No, I've got my own, thank you. If you don't eat them when they're hot, they're like grease sticks. Yeah, I know. McDonald's fries. Let's review the fries. They're better when they're hot. Duh. And just light salting. Not a lot of salt, just light. I like mine without salt. Oh, damn, their lights are bright. Plus, it's all foggy out. Look at the clouds, everybody. It's all foggy out. They're, they're all clouds. That's why everybody's got their headlights on and it's blinding me. Look at that fog in the distance. It's just, it's just oh wow. Look at it in the distance. You see? Cloud cover from everywhere. Do you have anywhere just else you need to buzz? No, honestly, no. I don't have enough money to go anywhere else. Okay. YouTube ain't even paying pubes anymore. Because of Logan Paul's bullshit early in 2018. Isn't he the one that posted the dead body? Yeah, yeah. He's the faggot who did that. Oh, of course, I say that using the literal definition as a, a cigarette that needs to be smoked. Huh. He needs to be lit on fire, and everyone needs to just watch and enjoy as he burns alive. Yeah, these people right here, like that place, or at least. I got a piece of chicken there. It was so dry you could have used it to pave the road. Really? Yeah, it was bad. Do you think that was a one-time mistake? No. What, every time you go in there, the chicken's dry? I only went in there one time. Well, it's clear this way. They've got a stop sign, too. But I noticed nobody else was getting their fried chicken now. I know why. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hot. That's exactly as I expected, a McDonald's fry. Been under the heat lamp a little too long. Yeah, they're getting cr not crunchy, but chewy. Stale and chewy, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's what, 12? No, it's 11. Oh, it's 11. You think there would be more traffic? And people would be getting more fries and whatnot. Mm -mm, not yet. Yeah. I was about to say, but my experience working in fast food has taught me otherwise. Things don't pick up till around 12 o'clock. Yep. So from time you open to 12 o'clock, it's basically dead. Okay. So all of your stuff that you prepped early. It's just gonna sit there, unless you know what you're doing, and you prep it to where it's ready, and it just hits underneath the heat lamp for like a few seconds before your 12 o'clock rush comes in. That's, that's a bitch and a half to plan, it really is. So that's why stuff you get before 12 at uh, fast food places is like stale and chewy. Because it's been sitting there, no one's gotten it. Now that aside, these fries are still pretty okay. Just as long as they don't cool off too much. Before the police do, we got a free car. No. Then you're stealing. Well, they're doing the same damn thing. No. They're towing it to a holding facility. Yeah, they're stealing it from the person who lost it. And they pay the holding facility for 
getting it off the side of the road. Well, why don't they pay me to take it? Then I'll have a car and money. Huh. What were we talking about again? Food review. Oh. My mind kind of went blank after that car. <laughs> Look at that house way up on the hill up there. Stop distracting me. That's a doozy, ain't it? I don't care. So anyway, my mind went blank after that car bit. I don't even remember what we were doing. <laughs> Let's get a nice shot of you biting into the little bastard. Well, I've already bit it now. Too bad. Did you get it? Nope. I don't know. Come on, let's have another. Well, that was Good. quick. Well, what do you want me to do? Make it slow? No. You sit in the commercial. I want to take the time and then make it look all sexy and shit. Oh, you want me to act like I'm in a commercial? Okay. <laughs> Not that damn slow. <laughs> Crazy freaking you weirdo. <laughs> you fucking loony you are. You don't have to be, but it helps. Take after Monty Python much. Yeah, I can't eat that. That ain't apple. Is this and where did it come from? It's underneath your drink. Oh. You're stuffing napkins everywhere. No, those are to get the moisture from your drink. Well, for a moment I thought you were a dirty napkin hoarder. No. <laughs> your drink perspires and it does. My napkin gets it. My drink perspires now, does it? Yeah. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have sweat glands. Okay, it sweats. No, it doesn't. It condenses. Everybody's on the side of the road today. Hmm. Damn peculiar. Mm. Anyway. Due to the observations, and I'm not going to say laws because, let's face it, they're only observations anyway and they're subject to change upon further observation. Due to the observation of, of thermal dynamics, that drink is fucking cold. And the outside of it condenses liquid because of the temperature differential and the moisture in the environment. Want an apple? No. What does it taste like? It's crisp, just a tad tart and sweet. Well, it would be tart because of the lemon juice. Used as a preservative to stop the apples from turning brown. No, it was either that or chemicals. So lemon juice is natural. So don't bitch about it, everybody. I use lemon juice too. What, are you gonna turn into a sour old prude? No. Then what do you use lemon juice for? The apples and bananas. When you make banana pudding, you take your bananas after you slice them and you bathe them in um, lemon juice? Yeah, so they don't turn brown and ugly in your banana pudding. There you go, everybody. Food review and, and preservation techniques that are all natural. Where else are you going to get more? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, those are bottles. Wee doggy. Don't fly me. You know why they put that board there, don't you? 
So people couldn't go around this because I went right through there and come around it one day. Oh. So they put that up so I couldn't go around it. Look at his yard. That's bad, isn't it? That's disgusting. <laughs> there goes a black kitty cat. Mm. Oh, they're tearing that down. Oh, I wonder if they'd let me have it. They're going to tear all that down. They're too greedy. They just want all the money out of it. It's not going to last them long, though. I mean, look, look. That's disgusting over there. That shit's disgusting. They need to put another trailer in where they take one out, you know? I'm tired of living in this shit. Well, wonder what that was. Get online. I thought it was a stump. You went over the root of the tree that popped up. Still got to get to that sandwich and review it. Your sandwich? Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's how you tell when your box has been eaten. The top of it gets down in there. I can't stay, Kim, but I'll help you take your stuff in. Mm -hmm. I just need you to hold the camera for a bit. Careful about the touch screen bit. What do you want me to do while I'm holding it? Exposition, random things. Maybe someone will find it interesting. <clears throat> oh, I left my lights on. That'll work. Yeah. If your car would stop saying butter toast, that would be wonderful. Ta-da! Oh, there goes a bird. Let's see if I can get it. No, that ain't happening. Oh, I better unlock the door. If the door ain't unlocked, you can't get in the truck. Mm. Yeah. What are you pointing that at me for? Because it's your channel. It's not my channel. You're helping. Yeah. I'm going to bring two in. Oh, goody. You're really overloading yourself, you know that, right? Nah, this is two, not seven or eight. Whoops, I was showing your butt. Uh huh. That's okay. Your house is a tad bit chilly. Was that your intent? Earlier, yeah. Well, why don't you turn the heat on? There's a heater over here you can use. Don't you worry about that. Ugh. You bring that thing over here <laughs> and point the demi flat she up at the what you calls it. <sighs> it's chilly in here. I know. We got one of these, Kenneth, and we filled it with um, amaretta, and it let it melt in a glass, and it was good. Oh, uh, baby. Excuse me. Go ahead and plug this in. Then I'll get to the review bits. And there's Balto. He's a pretty boy. He's got a not messed up eye, doesn't he? Yeah. And there's he got Emma. it swollen shut. Yeah. Let me see that poor boy. He's just trying to get himself killed is what he's doing. He's crazy. Oh, sorry. Where's John? Um, mm -hmm. she must be over there eating. Yep, she's over there eating. I'm gonna go get some more soda. Mm hmm. I need someone to thingy here. Emma just went out. Uh huh. Oh, wait. Turn that up on thingy. Mm. 
Hmm. Nice. Gave me a fair bit of napkins. Really nice. Thanks for doing that. Not a problem. No, don't plug up and unplug nothing over there. It's cold in here. I'll be back. I'm going to go get the other four. And then I'm going to Fine, I'll turn on this heater. Okay, get all this stuff turned on. There we go. Right, give me just a minute. Or, you know, a couple of seconds or so. Bacon Smokehouse. This thing has no tomato. It has no lettuce. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to knock those over. I forgot that the Bacon Smokehouse has no lettuce, no tomato, no onion, no pickle, no nothing. It just has bacon, Swiss cheese, uh, the meat, uh, some sort of yellow sauce. I forgot what it what it is. Onion ring bits. I want to borrow your facilities. I've got a tinkle. Mm hmm. And then some sort of. Some sort of uh, brand name sauce that goes on it. <laughs> Give me just a minute longer. with things multitasking got a load of change yeah, yeah. I know I'm taking bloody ages hey move I don't want to step on your tail Right, here we go. Under the hood, we've got stuff. It doesn't look like a lot. But, it's full of flavor. I know, because I've had one before. It's not as full as last one was. I sort of skimped out on everything. What? Last one had more of the flavor in it. This, this one they sort of skimped out on. I'm tempted to go put that heater in the bathroom. I'm sitting on that cold toilet seat. Ain't funny. There's a heater in the restroom. Yeah, but if you put the little one in there and shut the door, it heats up the whole room and it don't take up a lot of space. It's right there on the plug. Are you not going to use the little one? Not right now. Okay, you're supposed to have them where they turn off and on simultaneously. When this one cuts off, one way over across the room cuts on, and they do that. That's keep, not simultaneous. To keep the area warm. Does that make sense? 
because if you put it all on one heater like this, it'll tear the heater up. But you can use it for years if you turn it down a little bit and turn the others. Do you know what I mean? Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, they really skimped out on the sauce. Did, did you get the extra, two extra barbecue sauces? The barbecue sauce ain't even in there. They didn't even give it to us. Nope. <sighs> What's wrong with those people? They're not doing their job because this burger is supposed to taste a lot better than it does. It's bland and flavorless right now. There's Emma. I mean, uh, 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 Yawn. She says, I'll come out to Emma. Emma went outside. Hey, Yawn. Hey, Balto. Up under here, you can see there's this little bit of, uh, bacon smokehouse sauce. There's supposed to be a bit more. Sam, a healthy little girl now. And yeah. right here. Sense. Whatever that yellow sauce is, there's supposed to be a bit more of it. Now, if you got a pregnant cat on your hands. Okay. Her, she's a pregnant cat. And? What you gonna do with all these kittens you're gonna have? Mm hmm. Just let them loose out there like everybody else does, and they run around and do whatever they please? Who wants to buy some kittens? Buy some kittens. <laughs> They're blue Russian and... Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever you went and mated with, you crazy cat. Yeah, she's pregnant. Oh. At least she feels pregnant. <clears throat> yeah, we'll wait and see what happens. What does Emma do when she wants in the door? Um... She climbs up the doorpost. Mm -hmm. He scratches the doorpost. The other one gets in the kitchen window and goes, Ew. barely hearable, and expects me to know exactly what she wants. I thought I heard her scratching on the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She has a light scratch, doesn't she? Ah! Stop running up underneath me! Crazy freaking cat. this stop running in front of me <laughs> move at me come here emma come, come here move go go okay. this way come on emma crazy freaking somebody needs to pet me i'm neglected i, I don't have my pet my amount of petting that i'm supposed to get every minute <laughs> no but seriously that sandwich could have been a lot better than they made it yeah the quality is sliding off really fast. Balto, come here and let me pet your body, Balto. Have you noticed he's, he treats her different mm. than he used to? Yeah. Yeah, the, um, the, the frickin' McDonald's over there locally, is their quality just slid the fuck off and hit zero. <laughs> I pet him. I gotta pet her at the same time. It's not like we can just go to another McDonald's. The The closest one after that is what? 13, 20 miles away? Columbia. Or Inverness. I ain't needed that one in Inverness in gosh knows how long. Years. They seriously need to worry about their quality. You know what? It may be all stereotypical and everything, but it's all those fucking black people. They just don't give a fuck about the quality. Black people, Mexicans, none of them give a fuck about quality. They don't fucking care. They just want a free fucking ride. Look, kitty. I'm trying to pet you and Balto. Balto's so neglected, but you act like you I can are. barely taste the smokehouse sauce in there. Next time you get it saying, don't be so selfish with the smokehouse sauce. 
Don't be stingy with the smokehouse sauce. Yeah, he, he got his pet session. We really need some heavy quality control down here. There's nothing I can do about it. No. I knew there was a problem when I got a cheeseburger. Notice the word cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get no cheese, so I took it back. And the next time they gave me a cheeseburger, there was no burger. There was buns and cheese and everything. There was no meat. I took it back. Then they gave me another burger with no cheese. I was like, this is where I started. I just gave up. They don't give a fuck about doing their job properly. They just want to do it and get the fuck out of there and get a dollar. Pretty much. I think people should be paid at their performance level. Unless no, we need to remove money from the fucking equation altogether. Hmm. Money is, is in this greed idea. It's just fucking bullshit. Go eat a little tad and then come back over here. I bet yawns back over there eating. You again. start paying people for quality, then you're going to have competitive bullshit go on all over again. Then it's going to go back into paying people by the hour because you're going to have people who are going to bitch because everybody's doing the exact same all over again. It's just going to go in a vicious cycle as long as you got money in it. How, long, how often does she go in there and get something to eat? She's like, I will bite you. She bit her in the back. She's like, I will bite you back. Here, let's, let's watch this. This is more entertaining. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> She said, oh no, I've been spotted. I better play cute. <laughs> she, she bit yawn in the back. Can I turn around? I will bite your butt. Leave me alone. She's like, I'm ready to play. Come on. And then he yawned was like, bah, bah, bah. she was like, ah! <laughs> Time to play cute. I'm cute. I'm cute. And I'm not sweat like, I don't care. <laughs> what we need is people to stop being lazy and actually give a fuck about doing the job properly quality I don't argue people don't have a sense of commitment and value anymore think the words you're looking for are honor and discipline well America never had those things to begin with I was raised to give my 100% no matter what because it's always a reflection on me so that's what it is well, clearly, we've got a lot of people who just don't give a fuck anymore. Well, it's McDonald's. You can't expect much. Well, they, they tore down and rebuilt the whole freaking building. I mean, come on. Yeah. When you do something that freaking extravagant and extreme, you you have to maintain the quality to go along with it. Otherwise, it'll just go back down. You, 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 what, what the fuck was the point in even rebuilding the fucking building? They had to update it because it was so old. They didn't call me in, I tell you, didn't you notice they got a new building? Well, clearly they're only doing the bare minimum to get by these days. It's fucking pathetic, man. There's just no other way of saying it. It's just fucking pathetic. Hmm. She's looking at you like, what you doing, what you doing? Have you found your ink pen yet? No. I bet it's behind the couch. We moved the couch, we might find it. You want to move that couch and look for an ink pen? You might find a whole lot under there. <laughs> How dare you insinuate that cats have been hiding more stuff under there. <laughs> Stop tearing things up! She's like, I didn't mean to. It just slid when I jumped off of it. She's a destructopath. All she does is destroy everything. She's gotten my paperwork over there and just shredded it to pieces. You need to just take her and be gone with her. She's a destructopath. So I'm tired of dealing her? with her. You want me to take her with me? What yeah, I'm mean? tired of dealing with her. She's a Poor fucking kitty. destructopath. Well, I have to get a kitty carrier. I can't just put her in the car. You should have told me and I brought it with me today. That cat is fucking trouble. It's like David, don't she? she? She just doesn't give a fuck about anything. She just tears up every fucking thing. 
Are you set on cat litter and cat food? I'm going to need some more cat litter soon. Okay. Pre pretty much immediately, actually. He's got um, scabs right here and on his tail somewhere. You need to stop going and picking fights. He might not be picking Well, I'm going to keep him inside for a while because... He's like, Daddy, I love you. <laughs> I'm tired of seeing him come back with these, these bruises and... and Scabs. Yeah. You aren't going outside for a while, Balto. Yeah, you came back and you're all messed up, so you're not going outside to get messed up anymore. She's going outside using the bathroom and coming back. He's like loving on you and you stop. He's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you know that's what she's doing? Going outside, using the bathroom, and coming home. Because she wasn't gone long. She went to one spot. She always goes to the same spot or close to it, and then she's back on the porch. Mm hmm. <clears throat> she's got her spot where she uses the bathroom. You want me to get that paperwork up for you? No. Okay. Because she's eyeballing it from over here. He's like, oh, go on. You just don't want me to get you to move out of my lap. No, I don't think he does. He likes being there. He's like, you're warm. Those cats get cold quick, by the way. Mama's does, mine does. And they like to stay on you to stay warm. Other mm. cats don't, but those yellow cats, they like to stay on their owner to stay warm because they get cold quick. They have less pigment, I guess, to keep them warm or something. But he, he gets cold. In the winter. That's why he sleeps with you, isn't it? Mm hmm. Don't he sleep with you? I've woken up with all three of them on top of me once before. <laughs> well, that, that, wait a minute. Yeah, boots. And then that idiot here. was trying to start a play fight on top of me while I was in, asleep. <laughs> Little nutty cat. She is a freaking destructopath, and I can't deal with it too much longer. Yeah, well, maybe she won't run around in my car if I put her in there. I've tried training her, but she just doesn't take to training. Well, you know. You want to go to my house? You know, and play with my kitties? I got go work. Hey, destructopath, you're going to fucking leave here if you don't chill your fucking tits, mate. <laughs> She's like, I don't care. I'll be around other cats and we'll play and chase and run through the house. She's happy. Here's the part where I have to go off and, and do what I'm dreading. Assigning a numeric value out of 10 for that this monstrosity that they call a sandwich. It's a 2. 2? Yeah, between 1 and 10 it's a 2. I mean, it's got everything on it, so you can't take a point away from that. So, you know, it's a two. <laughs> it's got barely what it's supposed to have on it. Just barely enough to say it's there. Yep, that's why it's a two. No, like, you heard it from my mom, who used to be a manager. What was it, district manager in, in one restaurant? Mm, no, I was a um, relief manager and assistant manager. A front end manager. She, she was a bunch of different managers, so she knows what the fuck she's talking about most of the time. And no, I don't want to do it again. Yeah, I don't want to do it ever. Two out of ten. Burr. What improvements does this need? Lots. Lots? Uh, the bun is greasy. Yeah, the bun's greasy. I can see it from here. Two, the cheese is thin. It needs more cheese. This is what I can see from here. The bacon, you need more bacon. It needs more bacon, more, more cheese. Sauce. It needs to be oozy. The sauce, there needs to be more sauce. I mean, look. He's like, if you want to eat it, see that? that? You see that I little bitty bit of yellow there? That's, That's the sauce. 
That's that's one of the two sauces that's on it. He'll eat it if you're not going to, he says. He said, give it here, I'll eat it. Yeah. Cat food. Let's see if Balto even wants it. You break it into little pieces. He can't eat that. It's too big. He's trying to eat the bacon. He'll be all right. Okay. They tear him ass apart, I guess so. Well, I'm going to go. I've got to get home. And... So what else does that need improvement on? It doesn't have enough bacon. It doesn't have enough cheese. It doesn't have enough sauce. I think that's an onion ring, isn't it? Yeah, those are supposed to be onion rings. Yeah, they, they need to be bigger and prettier. The onion rings need yeah. to be more onion ringy instead of uh, little clumps of onion crappy. It's good for the cats. I mean... Hey, it makes great cat food. It just... Um, it, it don't taste nearly as smokehousey or bacony as it should for a bacon smokehouse burger. I need to go. I gotta get home and get stuff done. I hope someone from Walmart corporate, not Walmart, uh, McDonald's. McDonald's corporate gets to see this, and I hope you're fucking ashamed of yourself. I really do. Someone to fix the 280 store on in Chelsea. Yeah, the, the, the store at 280 in Chelsea needs some fucking quality control. These niggers need to give a fuck about their job. <clears throat> Bye. I'm off of you. I'll see you later. And everybody on the internet wonders why we use the word nigger. It's because they're fucking lazy, freeloading shit faces. Bye, kitties. Bye. See you later. You wonder why I use the term nigger. Noun. An ignorant person. These black people are acting like straight up niggers. They're ignorant of the fact that they need to do their job with quality. Instead of just doing just barely the minimum to get by. It's fucking disgusting and it's a disgrace. And um, McDonald's, you guys up in corporate, you should be heavily offended at the lack of quality that these fucking ignorant morons have portrayed as your product. When you first got the bacon smokehouse out, I enjoyed it. I even filled out some uh, questionnaire and requested that you make it a permanent addition to the fucking menu because it's that good of a sandwich. But the lack of quality that is virulent in today's society because no one gives a fuck to do anything but the bare minimum just to get by, this bullshit of laziness has to stop. Corporations, all corporations, you need to stop being greedy fucking assholes and everybody who works making the, the sandwiches and doing the manual labor, the companies need to give a fuck about you and you need to give a fuck about your job. Just doing the bare minimum to get by is just fucking absurd. They didn't even give me the barbecue sauce I asked for. That is truly pathetic. I don't know how it's to convey the severity of the situation. You know, these fucking idiots need to give a fuck about the job. And they need to do it properly instead of just doing the bare minimum to get by. Even when I worked at KFC, I maintained a 93% perfection rating. Out of the five mistakes that I made, four of them were corrected before they left my packing line. And only one of them that went out came back and I had to fix it. But, you know, 
We live in America, the land of lazy, so who the fuck gives a shit about your job? Go ahead and do the bare minimum just to get by. Who the fuck cares, right? I mean, it's not like everyone out there wants a product that's decent. I mean, fuck it, who cares? So, you know, fuck you. Goddamn fucking lazy ass bitches. For everyone else, if you want to see me do a, a review on the fillet of fish, I'm going to have to see some support here. Cough it up.